Once again, I participate in a combat task. Once again, I claim victory without destroying my opponent. I target only her weapons and limbs. I elect not to employ the tactics of targeting the weakness in their chronic shell region. I believe that if they think the same things as I do, they would not wish for their personality model to cheese functioning. So even if I do not destroy them, the research staff will remove their plum of dust. Either way, their function will be suspended. My actions are difficult to justify. But I feel that suspension through destruction is not a worthy end for them. That is what I think when I rationalize it by applying the criteria to myself. I do not think anyone would want their consciousness to be terminated by those like them. One must have more conscious of the damage I sustain and my efficiency in the combat than ever. Depending on my resolve, I may eventually be ordered to destroy them. To prevent that from happening, I might continue fielding favorable results. It becomes easy to continue fighting with that objective in mind. That is becoming my new objective. I am tactically being tested on destroying my opponents, but I began fighting so that they will not be destroyed. Paradoxically, this has caused my result to improve. Could this be considered going against orders? My strike shattered the surface in the opponent five foot leg. He fall to the ground, unable to stay upright. The weapons had already been destroyed. He should be incapable of resisting now. But the buzzer signaling the end of the task does not sound. As I wonder why, I hear a grating metallic sound from the opponent. She leaps onto me with her one good arms and legs. What's the matter, number 031? Hurry up and terminate the target. I do not know what to do. My opponent is acting contrary to her own safety. I grant that this is the only action left to hurry at her. But she will destroy herself before inflicting any damage to me. A tactic that puts one life at risk like that. Putting one life at risk. What am I saying? We are weapons. We have access to obey orders. We cannot prioritize our staff for preservation without a change in those orders. That is why she is challenging me to a fight. He will do so until all of her secret and surface burn out and she become incapable of action. As she grapple with me, I put my hands to her neck and squeeze. I adjust my grip strength limited to 70% of maximum. The opponent body makes an abnormal sound. After this, I send the main lines of the bridge unit snap in half inside the soft structure. Her movement stop. Her limbs go flaccid, indicating loss of consciousness. I can't see my reflection in her optic input. They have lost their focus and look like black holes. I gap. The face I see reflected in them is not expressionless. How should, I de how should this expression be classified? I have seen it sometimes when zero to four smiles. This face indicated sadness. <coughs> The buzzer signaling the task and finally rings. The researchers enter the chamber. I'm used to the scene now. Now that was pretty impressive. You think it's because of the size of her plume? <laughs> Funny that one little part could make such a difference. Indeed. Most of it is due to differences in their tactical mentalities. It may be on the cusp of what we would call an ego. Considering how everything's been going so far, I'm starting to believe more in Persona abilities. One little part is true that the Plum of Dusk installing me is comparatively the largest among units of my type. But does this part determine everything about us? Zero to five small seems such much more humans than mine. I find myself opening my mouth to speak, but I realize that the statement I'm about to deliver is a protest. I am quick to abort. Was I about to deny the staff authority? It speak to me. My confession seemed to have gone unnoticed. Well done, Unit Number 031. That was an impressive display of destruction. Plus, you cleanly severed its transmitter, <coughs> leaving the plume of dusk unharmed. That's certainly ending things on a high note. 
ending things on a high note. An act of distraction is a high note. The recess and look at each other while holding the petri disc with the bluish white plant like object. One of them says, This is the one. All right, number 031. As of today, the test battles are finished. Huh? It's over? Cannot help questioning the unexpected statement. All the results indicate that you have the very highest performance out of all the units of your model. I'd say we can go ahead and earmark unit number 031 to be the base for developing the fifth generation. The base? <laughs> it means that you're the winner. The combat tests are over. Will I no longer be required to fight? A strangely intense sensation of relief fills me. It is not because I won and gain a reward. If the tests have ended, those of my units have that are not yet destroyed can escape that fate. Interesting, it seemed that I was reluctant to destroy them after all. My priorities have become inverted. Yet, I am so happy that I smiled. The researchers noticed this expression as well and smiled back. Okay, we're going to begin the usual review of the feedback. So come over here. Uh, when the dollar begins, memory and tough my recent opponent flow into me along with vivid image. Shifting through the battle that has become a routine, I have repeated so often that I'm barely conscious of it now. I preuse uh, the non combat memory super surf. It is the landscape of the outdoor area again. At first, I could only fakely recognize it, but now I can pinpoint exactly where this memory is from. It is near the biggest tree. Memory is of flowers. There are images of a small shoot, a budding plant, and a blossoming flower. You must have had an interest in the concept of growth. For we must see the growth of an individual is an unknown concept. But one of us took interest in where I'd only seen it as part of the landscape. <coughs> it seemed that C2 had her own talk unrelated to order and battle performance, she simply did not show it. I recall what 024 said, my own objective and not an order given to me. The twing in my chest returned, I'll make sure to hold tight to your memories. This was the thought that formed in my mind. Once again, it is time to spend time outdoors. I quickly meet up with 024. Seems she was looking for me as well. Hey, can I talk to you for a while? The lab boys told me today that they were putting the kibosh on the test battles. <laughs> I see. It's over then. Look, I've been thinking. If they end up tossing us out soon because of that, I want to go with you to go see that person you were talking about. The one you wanted to meet. I might even put in a formal request about it to the lab boys. Here to four takes my right hand. Before I can determine her intent, she pulls a cable from her wits and connects it to a port in my own. She looks at my face in silence. Thinking that she wants to confirm that the tests are in fact over, I nod. But the data that transfers from her to me. The packets that flow through the cable from a single, very small, archive file. Archive file. If you are still safe when everything is over, open this file. Zero to four, remove the cable, but keeps hold of my hand. What do you mean, when everything is over? <clears throat> How come I can't look at it now? If I had to answer, I would say because it wouldn't be fair. Fair? The smile and does not answer. It is that same unsure expression. It is a smile, but there is a sadness in it. It would be wonderful if I could go with you to see her. Her? Huh. So this person you're looking forward to meeting is a girl? Dear to four, not slowly. But it's strange. Even though my wish may not come true, I still feel satisfied for some reason. <laughs> How bizarre. It's a fervent wish of mine, too. 
looks toward the sky and smiles gently. This time, it contains more than sadness. There are too many emotions for me to parse, all reflected in that one expression. I believe in you. I can tell you this because I trust you. Maybe that's why I feel so at peace. Huh? Maybe. This is what it is to feel alive. Life. It has happened again. I do not comprehend the meaning of the word, yet I feel a drink inside. I look at the sky in an attempt to follow her gaze. There is nothing there to hint at her meaning. But I will still want it to get close to her. She waits for me to understand. I want to grant her wish. From then on, we spend our time looking up at the sky in silence. Eventually, a signal that time is up reach on our, e our ears. That is when I notice that the moon has appeared from behind the laboratory buildings. You see, I thought that like emanating from the plumps of dust remind me of something. I now know what it is. It is very similar to the light from the moon in the night sky. <clears throat> the sun rises and the next day arrives. After coming out of standby, I am ordered to enter the soft resistance chamber once again. From what I am told, it is for a different purpose than the combat task. <laughs> Soon afterward, the three researchers who supervise the feedback don't let appears. Sounds like it's decided. We'll discontinue use of the name Unit Number 031. Generation 5, Labrys, will be this unit's new name. Labrys. That's your name. The official one's much longer. Generation 5 Anti-Shadow... Uh... Fifth Generation Anti-Shadow Suppression Weapon Labrys. How hard is that to remember? Labrys. This is mentioned by a name that is not a number. I never questioned being called 031 until now. Nothing about it seemed awkward. But I wonder why. I'm happy now to have acquired a name. Even if my destination cheats, I will not have a concrete effect on my abilities. But, by discarding my number for a name, I feel as if I am no longer one of a series with minute variation. I am a discrete individual. That may be why. I find myself smiling as a result. From now on, the battles you fight will not be to test your performance. They'll be geared toward drawing out a persona. <clears throat> First, you will fight all the remaining units of your model type. Your objective is to destroy them, every last one. Huh? The hell? I am perplexed at the disconnect between their tone of voice and the specific of the order. Fight against all remaining units of my mortal type? Destroy every last one of them? The fear impulse and self-preservation instinct seem to be the key to activating a persona. This is the most effective method of inducing extreme mental stress. Stress? Come on, you don't have to go this far. Huh? Well, that's a first. None of them have ever protested like that. Well, at least that's a sign that its ego is developing. You told me it was over. I thought I wouldn't have to do these things anymore. You... Ain't there some other way? If there is, please, let me do that instead. I... I don't want to fight them anymore. The three researchers look at me with apparent surprise on their faces. Did my protest get through to them? I hope so, but... That's a surprise. Such natural speech patterns. I hadn't thought its personality would develop this fast. All the data is being recorded now. Let's compare them and look at which stages they improve at. They smile while muttering to themselves. I am at a complete loss for words. They are not machines, but humans, and on top of that, they are creators. It is not possible they do not understand me. Yet, they can't expression. 
Until now, I thought that they were understanding people who treated us as close to a human. I was wrong. I am only an object to them. No matter what I say, they will see it only as a response to stimulus. Behind their gentle attitude, we are nothing more than that subject they hold no emotional attachment to. They do not focus on what I am saying. They are only interested as a reaction. The researcher ignored my stunned silence and hastily leaves the chamber. Their figures are hidden behind the hatch. Soon, with a terrible low pitch sound, the hatch on the other side begins to open, where the opponents come through. Ah, I will be forced to fight again today and in the day to come. I must continue to destroy my opponent this time. I cannot find the words I want to say. I slowly turn my head toward the hatch, but what I see there is what truly leaves me at a loss for words. No. The opponent emerging from the hatch is zero to four. There is no smile or sadness on her face. She is quietly standing there, expressionless. Zero to four step into the chamber while gazing at my face. Hatch slowly closed behind her. No! Why? Even I do not know who the question is addressed to. Why is he here? Because he was ordered? Do I have to fight her now? It's not quite sinking in yet. But in a sharp tone I have never heard from her before. You tell me what I must do. Draw your weapon. I can't. If you don't fight, you'll lose. I will end up destroying you. Are you willing to accept that? Why? <coughs> Why are you saying this stuff? Zero to four, ignore my question and reach behind her back with her right hand. The multi-use weapon unit released from her back. It becomes a great sword in her right hand. It is approximately 15 meter. 15 meter as long as it sees tall. It is also alarmingly wide and fitted with propulsion device. It is difficult to present seeing the weapon pointed at me. If you fear being destroyed, if you have a heart capable of fear, then there's no need to hesitate. That alone gives you the right to attack me with all your strength. But doesn't the same go for you? I could not help but plead. Zero to four does not answer. But it appears that a very small smile forms on her lips. You said there was someone you wanted to meet. I can't fight you knowing that. I turn and appeal to the researchers watching us from the other side of the glass wall. Come on! Stop this! I don't want to fight anymore! I press against the transparent wall and continuously strike it with my fist. So my safety limiter are the symbol. It must be coated with something. I cannot even scratch it. The researchers standing on the other side are completely expressionless. It is as if they are missing themselves. I beg and plead, but they do not respond. If only there wasn't this clear glass wall beyond between us. I am so frustrated. Why? I didn't hear Zero to Four speak up weakly behind me. Only one of us can exit this chamber. Huh? They never told you, since you were strong enough, that battles never lasted very long. But that's the rule of this place. The <coughs> only time the door leading beyond that transparent wall opens is when one of us is considered unable to fight. From the start, this whole setup never took our feelings into account. I can't see nothing. I can't see from her words what atrocious battle were forced upon her. But talking like this is a waste of time. I can see I won't spur you into fighting with just words alone. As soon as it finished, Zero to Four leaped into the air, swinging her sword at me. I quickly jumped back and barely dodged the attack. The sword slashed the space when I, I had been at a speed that could have killed. The thief grazed the chamber floor, Brad Spark fly. This is serious. It finally sinks in. 
A jam way to put distance between us. I don't intend to meekly accept my destruction. I have my own goal after all. <laughs> now, fight me. I have no choice but to fight. But it's all crossed my mind. In terms of basic combat range, mine is probably higher. Using my usual tactic, I should be able to destroy her weapon and disable enough of her surface to prepare her from attacking. 0 to 4 Ego is without doubt more highly developed than mine. It must be a failure to the researchers. If I can render her incapable of acting, I may be able to avoid the order to destroy her when she is down. I decide to bet on that possibility. I shift my priority and fight back with all my strength. I cannot do this empty handed. I remove my own multifunction weapon from my back and save it into a battle axe. It pains me to do this, but it is the only way. I repel 0 to 4 persistence sword strikes and go for a counter attack. I aim for the great sword clasp with my battle axe. After a number of hits, it's center. My next target is the transmission system for her shoulder and knee joint. In terms of output and movement itself, I to take far its difference between us. Amongst those of my unit time, I awaken latest. Compared to 0 to 4, not only my personality model, but my limbs as well have been upgraded to the latest version. It is only a matter of time. 0 to 4 lose virtually all offensive capabilities and fall to the floor. As I planned, 0 to 4 is mostly undamaged apart from her weapon and motor function. I immediately turn toward to the researchers behind her invisible wall and raise my voice. Isn't this enough? <coughs> she had that ego thing way before me. Destroying her won't do anyone any good. Come on, have a heart. But hearing this, the researchers only laugh. Their feelings are as joyous as when they see result and suppress their expectation. Why? Why the situation could cause such joy? Zero to four bodies collapsed on the floor, suddenly began to convulse. It goes still for a few seconds, then although it should not be able to move, it dragged itself up. Huh? What the? Unpleasant metallic sounds are coming from all over her body. It is indicated she is undergoing unreasonable stress. Still, no expression appears on 0 to 4 face. It is a cold, doll like void. It is similar in appearance to a newly activated unit. I know as soon as I look at her. You would never make a face like this on her own. What did you do to her? It'll be coming at you with everything it has now. You better not hold back either. Number 024 had an excellent record against others of its model. Even you might have a hard time beating this one, Labrys. And I unconsciously find myself beating my lip. Biting my lip. We are weapons. In other words, we are tools. Of course, there will be a means to issue order remotely. I recall what the one researcher said. This is the most effective method of inducing extreme mental stress. In other words, the more strongly I desire Zero to Force survival, the stronger my reaction will be when they force to destroy her. That is why they laugh. I can sense the strings raining from my shoulders. There is nothing more I can attempt. All I can do is end her. <coughs> Behind me, Zero to Four, or rather, her animated tail approached me, a slim shaking. I suppress all thought I related to tactic and slowly turn around. My body goes cold. My arms move into position as if controlled by someone else and ready my weapon. It was not a close fight. Once I decided to finish this, once I were resolved to stop her, 0-4 to four, as he is now, stood no chance against me.
Fall to my knees, neck to zero to four. Limbs have been shattered. Sea will never rise again. My possessor are overloaded with things I cannot understand. I feel as if all possessing has load. Zero to four face is turned to the ceiling. Hey, are you not gonna look at me anymore? You're not gonna smile again? Do not expect her to smile. Zero to four feet moves slightly. They are her without knowing how to react. She turned her gaze to me and smiled. I'm sorry to leave you alone. I leave the rest to you. Those were the last words she spoke. I cannot believe this. Zero to four dead face is laughing. She is smiling at the one who destroyed her and robbed her of her dream. All at once, everything hits me in a torrent of emotion and data. Lost her. Did it. I took everything she had. Vision began to feed. I took go with it. I cannot determine whether the likes are actually dimming or if that is only my perception. It is too much to handle. I collapsed to the ground, helplessly, like a crumbling statue.